And we are back in Atlanta at one of our home gyms. We're at Crunch today, feeling like a pretty pretty cheeky little uh, chest and tries is about to go down. We're going to start off with some, I think we're going to do dumbbell press. Do some incline dumbbell press to start her off. Keep those between 8 and 12. And just vibe with it. Um, had a lot to do this morning, so I'm a little behind. About an hour later than I usually would like to get here, but it is what it is. I think the camera's crooked as fuck, but if y'all could just see, let me show you all the setup. I'm going to pop it up on the screen if I remember to do this. That's how I set the camera up, right there. So we're going to um, probably order a thing. The only problem is I looked up camera mounts for inside the car, and I could only find ones for outside of the car. So we'll try to figure out one, or I could do one that hangs from the, the window, but it would have to be upside down. I guess I could just flip the footage. All irrelevant to what's about to go down in the gym. Really just trying to catch a pump. We're 34 days out from our first ever bodybuilding show and things, uh, we're feeling pretty good. Definitely a little stressful weekend traveling and whatnot. So I'm excited to get in here and just get after a nice chest and tri workout. Probably do two movements of each, maybe three of one of the muscle groups, but uh, probably focus on six to eight sets of each movement and just get get after it. Push some blood flow, break down some muscle. This is a high calorie day for me. It's 2,300 calories. Um, yesterday was a low carb day, so <laughs> don't know if that's gonna affect the workout. Probably will a little bit. Came in at 184.4 this morning, a little bit heavier than yesterday, but I knew I was pretty dehydrated when I weighed in yesterday. So it is what it is. But we're going to get in here. We're going to get after it. Chest and tries. Make sure y'all show some love on the video. Watch it all the way through if you can. It would be appreciated. I'm trying to trying to pursue the dreams, baby. But yeah, I'll see y'all on the inside. Nice little chest and try pump about to go down. Let's get it, boys and girls and whoever's watching. All right, I think I said I was gonna do dumbbell incline, but we decided on barbell. I wish I would've changed this bar out. It's like this, this bar is fat. It is thick. Something you want your girl saying, but not when you're on incline. This is set number three. I'm honestly probably only gonna do like two sets with the 185, drop it down and just crank out 135 reps, really work on squeezing mind muscle connection and slower reps. The 135, this is my first set at 185. 135 did not feel as light as usual. Kind of expected as we get deeper into prep. Uh, one of my weaker movements, as I've told y'all before, just pressing in general is, is a weaker movement for me. We're gonna get right into this. I think I need to lift the seat up a smidgen. See how that feels. All right. But this bar is thick, son. Ooh, yeah, definitely feeling heavier than usual. Ooh. Slower reps here. Ooh. Ooh. Squeeze at the top. Oh. Yeah, definitely feeling heavier than usual. Wrist is bothering me a little bit, nothing crazy. I really, I'm gonna schedule that massage today. Not that that's gonna help the wrist, but also, I think I was telling y'all there's a chiropractor I wanna go see that I've heard really good things about. So I might schedule that for like Thursday. You can go before or after the gym to see that, that Cairo. But yeah, so we're gonna crank out. So that was set number three. I'm gonna do like three or four more sets here. Set number four, again, just gonna keep it so, pretty light today. I'm not going past 185. It'd probably be my last set at 185. Only, I mean, realistically, we're a month out. We're 30, 34 days out from the competition. Really no need to lift heavy in any way, shape, or form right now. 
really need to work on mind muscle connection and we really need to just dial in the shreds which is more going to happen from cardio as far as dialing in the shreds but you know we're going to maintain all the muscle we need maybe even build up a little or break down the muscle with this lighter weight and we're not going to have near as much risk of injury we're going to keep it slower reps <clears throat> Squeeze the top. I will say, I think the fat bar is messing with me a little bit. Um, I don't know, you just can't grip it quite as good. That might be a reason why I don't feel as strong either. I know it's like it kind of just sits in your hand, but it's a factor. It's definitely a factor. I would like to know, I wonder if it tells me on the end of this bar. No, it doesn't. This, other than like those fat bars that are like, you know, three three inches round, this is definitely the thickest bar I've ever used for something like this. But um, not not too bad. I'm just gonna drop the weight down. Probably just crank. We're just gonna go till about a nine RPE for these next two or three sets. This is set number five or six. This is six. Set number six. And uh, just pushing reps, slower reps, pushing blood flow. And trying to, trying to squeeze those muscles, get that chest working. Went a little bit wider. One thing about the lower weight too, is I'm able to angle this how I want and I can hit the muscle group how I want. With that 185, especially with this bar being thick, I wasn't able to angle it exactly how I wanted. I'm gonna do some partials too. tearing that chest apart and allowing me to get some good connection on the actual reps. So we're gonna do one more set here. I wish I had a spotter so I could push more reps, but maybe what we'll do is a drop set for the last set. So we're gonna rest up, we'll do one more set, probably a drop set. Our last set here, I'm gonna do a little drop set, like I said, and uh, we're itching right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. That pump daddy it's just got my balls tingling. Well, that's, that's, I like it. I actually, I genuinely, I like the beta alanine itch. It kind of just makes you feel it, you know what I mean? Just makes you crawl a little bit. So, last set, I'm gonna do a drop set. I'll be honest, not my best, but you know, right after traveling, sometimes that can happen. Not making excuses, still getting it in, still pushing it, that's what matters.
devil's taking any days off, son. You better get the fuck after here. Ugh. I'm on one more pussy. Ugh. Squeeze that. Two, one. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, that was a good set to finish on. Again, I do wish I had a spotter. Push, force, force some reps. But it is what it is. Forgot I'm, I'm doing a drop set. Yeah, we just do it. It's never too late. Forgot I was doing a drop set there, boys. Just get after it. Come on. See how it feels. See how it feels. I did go a little bit wider. I think this bar. need heavy weight to make it a good set boys at all so we're gonna get into some chest flies definitely only gonna do two movements for chest we just cranked out a lot of reps I don't know we probably did like a hundred reps at least on the, on the incline so I don't know what variation of, of flies we're gonna do but we're gonna do flies next. I'll see y'all y'all can find out then I ain't gonna lie probably doing one more set and the pump covers coming right off right off I mean I can just feel it I can just feel it we, we just haven't had a great workout the past past few days been out of my element so just honestly I just feel like the chest is getting ripped apart right now let me make sure I'm even I've been fucking up on that recently let me know if I'm even, boys. I guess I'll find out before y'all will. shirt says I love sluts it's pretty awesome I like it but yeah feeling you know what I think we're just gonna go ahead and do it I'm not even gonna wait for the next set I just feel like how's it looking boys is she good hey you know next set we got to get an extra five off that you already know the drill we got to get an extra five off that I just had to come show you all this what in the actual fuck is going on? The pump is crazy right now. The pump is insane right now. That's wild. That's that's honestly insane. I don't know what's going on. We're not even high on carbs. That I just had to come show you all that. Honestly, that's crazy. I don't even know what the fuck's going on with that. I'm not mad though, at all. I legit after these chest flies might have to go do a posing session i mean the fucking pump i mean i shocked myself quite frankly i knew the pump was nasty maybe it's just because i haven't yesterday i didn't really work out truthfully like i went in the gym but i didn't really like work out and then the days before that i didn't do much so maybe i'm just i had some glycogen stores built up that's the only thing i can assume because uh i mean that is was nasty that's nasty right now i don't even know what to think about that the skin is super tight too so that's so 
incredible. I mean, I knew the pump daddy was good. I didn't know it was that good. Ooh. I mean, even the triceps are pumped. I'm shocked, as y'all can tell right now. I'm pretty shocked by it. I'm not mad. I mean, it's almost like the pump is so good I can't get four reps. I mean, I literally, if the posing room is open, when I get done with these, these, I'm doing a, I'm doing a posing session, quite honestly. That shocks me. That, that genuinely shocked me. So I just chatted with somebody for a little bit, so the pump's kind of gone now. Not, not really, but it's not what it was. But that's going to come right back. I mean, you know, it's nice when somebody's like, so when do you compete? When, when's your show? It's not like, are you competing? It's like, I know you're competing. When is it? So that kind of made me happy. It's like my boy, 34 days out. I'm gonna, sit, I'm gonna stay back a little bit. Hit that upper chest a little more. I needed this workout after this past couple days. I needed to come in here and get after it and just feel this good connection. So we're gonna do, I think, two more sets here. I don't know if I'm gonna film any more sets here. I think I've already done three. Uh, but next will be triceps. And I don't know what we're gonna start off with, but stick around to find out. All right, this is gonna be set number four of these. There's a lot of people around, so I didn't want to be filming, getting in the way. But this is going to be set number four. We're going to do two more sets, including this one. And I like this, this angle so much. Last week, I had to do it again. The last week, we did a straight bar, though. So this is even a little bit different. And I almost like this better. It is putting a little pressure on my wrist. It's the only problem. The wrist is getting substantially better rapidly, but... Still trying to be cautious. I want to get that healed up completely by show day. So as you can see, we're squeezing down at the bottom. Not just, you know, pushing these reps down. We're, we're slow and controlled. And then we're squeezing at the bottom. I'm trying to feel those triceps really working. Keeping the chest upright as much as possible. Sometimes I like to do a little wiggling at the bottom. Activate those muscles. No science behind it. Just, just bro science. You know, some people say, oh, you gotta do this angle, you gotta do this angle. I say, try all the angles. Switch it up a little bit, confuse the pathways. Um, I'm liking this one though. We're gonna definitely be adding this into the arsenal. I've never had a gym where I had a back support uh, like this, so I'm going to utilize it. I'm going to utilize it. All right, last set tricep pushdowns. We're going to do one more tricep movement though. Slow and controlled reps, keeping this 
path as close to my body as possible. I'm just feeling some really good mind muscle connection with the triceps by doing that. So that's what we're gonna do. I noticed that last clip, y'all were right up in my shit. So I backed the camera up a little bit for those reasons. We're gonna have to do some yanking here. Then we'll take the weight down. Squeeze some reps out here. I thought, I thought old boy was about to hit a flex in front of the camera. That would have been awesome. He was adjusting his glasses. That would have been awesome if he would have just flexed right in there. All right. I'm getting to the point in the workout where the, the energy is rapidly depleting. But that's okay. We got one more tricep movement. I don't know what we're going to do yet. We're just going to see. But overall, solid ass pump. Solid ass pump, if y'all can see that. Um, I know last week when I tried uh, overhead with a barbell, it did not feel good at all. So I'm probably not gonna do that uh, on my wrist. So we'll just see, we'll see. Juicy pump going on today though, boys. Juicy pump. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This is the third movement I've tried for, I did a machine for triceps. And then I did ropes, and now I'm trying this. I just wasn't, get, I'm not getting any good mind muscle connection like I was with that, that movement that I was just doing. So I was trying to find something I was getting good mind muscle connection with, I'm just not finding it. So we're gonna stick to this and just uh, do what we can. You know, I did get really good mind muscle connection out of that last one. So we're gonna stick with that. Definitely might help if I up this fucking weight. And I'll stop being a pussy. Oh. But you know it's gonna happen. I'm still hitting it a little bit, but not quite as much as I'd like. Rarely do I do overhead stuff for triceps. It'll be a good change up. Uh, so not amazing, not amazing to be honest. You know, still a really good workout so far, but just not feeling good mind muscle connection. I'll tell you one thing is my wrist. This is on tricep movements is where I notice my wrist the most, all because that one drop set when I was first starting to film that I missed that 185. It wasn't even super heavy. I just should have been more cautious. Ah, fuck it. Shouldn't have been more cautious. Oh, yeah, you gotta push yourself. It's gonna, things are gonna happen just happened uh, at a bad time but it's okay so we're gonna do this just trying to push blood flow work on some mind muscle connection it's, it's not there quite yet but hopefully as we get deeper into it it will be all right we're gonna hit one more set filmed one more set after that and then we're going to check this pump baby oh we're gonna Get some posing in. I'm gonna do some stretching at the bottom. Oh, that's good. Y'all's favorite parts come. Don't worry, boys. I know y'all love that. Squeeze at the top. This is hitting like the top portion of my tricep. It's not really hitting it good, if we're being honest. Not 
not the best, but I did the first movement we did for triceps was really good, so it's okay. I'll start just because that movement's new. I used a different angle as well, uh, and that movement's not new. I used a different handle, and that was only my second time doing that angle where I'm back supported for the first movement. So I'm, I got some good work at my triceps on their own. But this past I tried, this is my third one that I tried after that. Just not connecting quite as well. It's not connecting quite as well. But I'm do one more set here. I'm not gonna film it. I'm gonna see y'all in the posing room. We're gonna check this pump. I think it's nasty. I'm like far away from the mirror right now, but I think I'm looking juicy. Not to be cocky or anything, but you know. You gotta gas yourself up every now and then. All right, and the pump is finished. So it was a good workout, best workout I've had uh, since I left for Vegas, so that was good. I felt like I had carbs in my system, and I think the only reason is because I really didn't hit a, a workout yesterday. I mean, I went to the gym and bullshit a little bit, but I think that's, that's why I felt so good. And, and truthfully, just not being able to really get after it this, this past three days, probably just had a little bit of energy built up. Um, I definitely need some fuel in my system at this point with yesterday being a low carb day, but I'm happy. Pump Daddy definitely did its job. We're gonna run through some posing real fast and, and just see, see what's about, see what's going on. Really just see what's, what's up with that bad boy. Oh. So something I'm noticing is I wanna keep this hand up here while I do that. So I'm having to focus on really bringing both of them down. Looking nasty. One thing about when I have sweats on, I completely forget to, to pose my legs. Overall, I feel pretty good. I feel like I'm looking good. <sighs> Tell me what y'all think. How are we looking? Did anything change over the Vegas trip? Vegas trip. Twist, twist. <sighs> Whew. Feeling good, feeling good. I just had these two guys in here tell me that last week they had a dude come in. Like, you're not allowed to take your shirt off. So we're gonna be, get the shirt back on before we get caught. But they've been pretty chill. I've had employees walk by and not say anything to me. It is what it is, you know, but we're gonna keep doing it. No doubt. Can't not check the pump. Boom, there it is. So man, Good, good back in it. Good to be back in Atlanta, getting this workout in. 
I'm thankful for y'all. The support has been crazy recently. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, we're 34 days out, boys. We gotta, we gotta get grind time, head down, putting in the work. And uh, if you made it this far, you're a true OG. I appreciate you more than I could ever explain. Thank you all for watching all the way to the end. Um, if you'd like, subscribe, throw a like up, comment, share with a friend. Anything that will help with the algorithm, I would appreciate it. It, it means the world to me. Y'all have really been blowing it up recently and thank you so, so much. But we got 34 days before our first ever bodybuilding show. Solid chest and try workout today. And as always, I'll see y'all tomorrow.